Well, as temperatures rise, the snakes are coming out in the Tennessee Valley. Welcome back to your News at 9. I'm Chase Gallimore. And I'm Jen Jacobson. While most kinds of snakes in our area are not poisonous, there are a few to look out for. And snake experts tell Scott Sheehan a snake doesn't need much space to get into your home. Okay, get ready for this weekend's 39th annual Alabama Jubilee Hot Air Balloon Classic. There's an arts and crafts fair, a classic car show, and lots of games. But the main attraction is those big balloons. Our own Jen Jacobson was up before dawn this morning for her first ever ride in a hot air balloon. All right, Austin's pressure's on. She said you uh, promised her a good weekend. The Jubilee is free to the public and balloon flights are scheduled for Saturday and Sunday at 6 in the morning and 6 in the evening. If you need more info, on the festival, just visit rocketcitynow.com. Coming up, eliminate the bus driver positions and make changes to those bus routes. A record number of students at Huntsville City High School are being offered scholarships, racking up over $54 million. As now 16 NCAA Division I softball teams remain in the race for the Women's College World Series Championship. And down on the plains, there will be a friends and family affair when Auburn takes on Arizona this the studio with more. Shade? Yeah, Chase, right now in Franklin County, there are about seven areas that will have to vote on the bill that will hopefully ease the budget crunch. I spoke to with the fire um, chief in Tharptown who is in one of those areas, and he hopes voters will understand. In the studio with more, Ben. Chase, Jen, the state, neither the state nor the county do any tests on the water. And here in Madison County, there used to be a program in which local pools were tested and monitored regularly. They stopped that about 10 years ago. To make this law and policy, again, would just cost money. The legislature has not considered any such measures, and state health officials say they haven't been lobbying for it. Ben Nandy, WZVX. If you have any great ideas to improve downtown Huntsville, you could win more than 500 bucks. That's the object of a contest. That's no shortage of diversity and culture in Huntsville, is there? Well, here's one that mixes Japanese culture with Southern culture. It kicked off in Decatur today for over two decades. Reach can't just keep, can't seem to keep himself out of jail. Dustin Diamond, who played the iconic character in the popular 90s show Saved by the Bell, was arrested again, according to the Ozaki. Thanks, Austin. Have you paid your federal student tax yet? I hope not because it does not exist. If you've gotten any phone calls from people claiming they're with the IRS saying you need to pay the federal student tax, hang up now and call the police. The I a Pennsylvania judge says there is enough evidence to go forward with a trial against comedian Bill Cosby for sexual assault charges. All right, thank you, Maggie. Well, Royal Dutch Shell is cutting more than 2,000 jobs. Ford is recalling more than 270,000 pickups for fall. Well, the Winston County Sheriff's Department needs your help tracking down a missing senior. In Sparkman Drive, police say he died at the scene. We are awaiting identification. It was also this week that a man who police say was skateboarding was struck and killed while trying to cross the streets. Neither of the drivers from either accident is facing charges. The news, a 34-year-old man is in jail charged with shooting his 20-month-old child. Lionel France, if you live in Limestone County, you may have been without water for most of the day. It started before noon and fixing it took longer than expected. Service was restored to people living on or near Sandlin Road at just before 7 this evening. The County Water and Sewer Authority has not said what the reason was. It took a couple tries, but today they did it. On the second attempt, NAS you've probably heard of the dating app Tinder, but there's another app with a very similar name, Thrinder. A group of about 100 doctors are calling for the Olympics to be either moved or canceled. They're cautioning it may make for a more severe Zika outbreak here in America. Ivan Watson, Coca-Cola has rolled out patriotic-themed soda cans to celebrate 75 years in partnership with the USO. The Soda Can Jubilee. Once again, the skies over Decatur were filled with hot air balloons, and once again, the WZDX team was there. Here's the report they just sent us. Welcome back. The Atlanta Braves hosting the Miami Marlins this weekend, looking for their first home series win of the season. 